I don't believe the Pittsburgh Steelers can compete with Mason Rudolph at quarterback. I don't care where Mason Rudolph is playing. If Mason Rudolph was in Kansas City, they ain't going to the championship. If Mason Rudolph was in Green Bay, they ain't going to the championship. If Mason Rudolph played for the 1985 Bears, the New England Patriots would beat them by 47 points. The thought of Mason Rudolph being the quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers makes me want to vomit. You got Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert and Derek Carr and these people in the AFC conference. You can't go with Mason Rudolph. No. He's a backup. Be a backup. Know your lane. We're going to leave the ball in Mason Rudolph's hands. Mason Rudolph gets the start, his first one in a couple of years. He's done a good job, and we've done a good job. Rudolph the throw, deep drop. Rudolph lets it fly down the sideline. Pickens, Taking care of the ball, and he's taking care of the ball. Rudolph is going to do a fantastic job with his eyes. Peeking downfield, and then here comes Deontay Johnson on that wrap in route. The double team to Friday. The ball comes out in stride. Outstanding job. We score points at a rate in which we hadn't done. Rudolph looking sideline for Pickens again. He's got it. Drops it in the bucket. Pickens punches back. Touchdown. Away from Mason Rudolph to start. It's kind of crazy. The only two 30 plus point games for the Steelers this year have been these last two starts for Mason. It's a resume move. You talk about confidence, man, oh man, I, I, I can't say enough about the great work of Mason Rudolph. Third consecutive start, third consecutive game that he's had, a 112 or better QB rating. The Steelers just didn't have that all season with Kenny Pickett. And that's why you're hearing their receivers. You get a little disgruntled, do you think? Mm-hmm. Being pretty quiet about the way Mason Rudolph is playing. Mason Rudolph's a good down-the-field thrower. Mason Rudolph hangs in the pocket more than I think the other two quarterbacks do. And stat says he completed all nine of his passes. Uh, he completed 17.2 over expected passes and holds the two highest completion percentage over expected marks by a Steelers quarterback in a game this season. Wow. Basically, some of these passes that he's completing, you know, an average quarterback and receiver combination would not be completing, so he has been a, above average in all of those categories. The other guys weren't like that, especially Pickett. Who would have thought coming into the season? that Akersher Stadium would be chanting Mason Rudolph's name. 